working. Thank you, Sky, for the nice introduction. So uh, I was asked when preparing the, this presentation, say uh, you should think, we should think out of the box how to expand the, the reach of LoRaWAN. We are currently already well present, so you have seen over this uh, one and a half day or two days a lot of use cases that we all know for now 10 years. Uh, industry building, uh, utilities, cities, and ag. Uh, and f one of the first expansion uh, that was recent was the satellite. So that was well covered also, uh, previous presentation. So we were thinking, so what's next? How, which market we can enter where we are not so present with some existing uh, use case and what should we do for that? Uh, and we believe uh, uh, at Semtech, but not only at Semtech, some of our partner customers, that there are some use cases that we should uh, carefully uh, deep dive in, in which LoRaWAN will make full se sense uh, because we have all what is needed to play there. Uh, and this is around the, what is called smart home, but it's, it's a, let's say, buzzword that has been used for maybe two or two or three decades. Uh, many technology, so we call it uh, more precisely smart house because you, you will see we are at the at the border. We have something unique on top of the low power is the range, and we can bring the range from in and out. And this is the thinking and uh, the idea, the rationale be behind this presentation. So uh, how can we play there? So to to play there, we also check. Uh, is there a market? Of course, everybody will say there is a market. We work and we had uh, IoT analytics this morning, but we also work with plenty of uh, other uh, analysts in the Alliance and also at Semtech. So I pick up a recent uh, quote. It's an OMDR report that was uh, April, uh, something like that, this year. So definitely, you see it's consistent. We are one of the top leading uh, LP1 uh, technology. Uh, but they also believe, like, we do, and I didn't ask them to write things, they did on their own, that the range could be a good uh, benefit, or let's say uh, performance criteria, valid for what they call smart home or smart house. So we said, what should we do for that? Because when we, if we enter this market, it is definitely the place where you have plenty of choice. I already said you have many, many technologies available in the smart home. So if we want to be serious and have success, we, we need to provide multiple choice for the customer, for the ecosystem. So uh, we already have a couple of solutions. So this is to how to connect on the, the right for you, or the left, the, the chip, which is uh, the end nodes, the, the sensor to the internet, and you have different flavors, Jordi, reading from the top left here, you have, of course, many different gateways, uh, with outdoor, indoor, different uh, level of channel, uh, so that are existing today. And recently, on the, on the left, we also have work on the relay. That is a way to up to the external. But we were thinking in between, Shouldn't we thinking about something that is very simple uh, that will connect and act as a hub? And on purpose, I don't call it gateway because we have, in this initiative, limited the capability to keep one channel only. That's why it's called one channel hub. So not easy to pronounce one channel hub. And this is this uh, new idea. So we are not building hub. We are doing a reference design based on our existing chipset. Again, very important, using LoRaWAN standard, that's crucial there. And we have done this one channel hub that we are demoing, and we have demo, maybe some of you saw this already on our table, to fit uh, the different gap and come with uh, plenty of solution, existing one, and this new idea here in the middle called single channel hub. And you see, it is much more limited. It's not a gateway, it does way less. But in our view, that could play uh, nicely in this market because we will still keep, uh, of course, uh, maybe here the line, the most important line, I will not read it all, is the capability with the existing ecosystem. It must be LoRaWAN so we don't make any change to the million of existing sensors on the field. We have to talk to them, connect to them. 
So this is what we are doing there, and also reducing many, many features that are really useful for gateway, not needed here. So that's why we come with what we believe a more uh, reduced TCO. Uh, you can see the figure there. And that will unlock, in our view, a couple of use cases, so like the Alliance who loves infographics. We did the same, we took our pain. We have nice uh, person doing that, they are very talented. I don't know if you can see or if it's too far, but that's the usual use case. We had some discussion in the past called neighborhood, smart home neighborhood, but that's those typical use cases that are either indoor or outdoor. But once you've put this small uh, one second channel in the house, you can connect a lot of existing sensors, LoRa one sensor that you can install now in the house, so being, I don't know, in the cellar, on the top, or outside on the pool. All that will be reachable easily uh, with this solution. So that's what we believe we should explore further, so with all the ecosystem, all of you, uh, and also within the Alliance, because we have done a uh, couple of activity in the past. We have some liaison agreement we can make. This is also something uh, we should explore further to uh, see if we have collectively a play in this market. So this is why we have done this single channel hub initiative that I show you here, but it's better if you see it in live uh, next door. So you will see basically sensor connecting to internet. So that's, but connected through this hub in that case. And uh, below all of that, uh, what is important, and that was highlighted also by Murata before, you need a LoRaWAN stack. Uh, that's all what we are doing in this alliance, we're specifying and so on. So we did this reference implementation that is available on GitHub. So you have the link to get access to it. Uh, and what we did, we brought in the new, the latest feature developed collectively in the alliance, such as the relay. So it does support relay. It's LBM 4.5 here that is available. It supports, of course, the FOTA. So there are some enhancements on the FOTA. Uh, and I would say uh, all the rest, the location, this is be, uh, very suitable for the LR series, LR11XX. Uh, but just for you to know that this is available and this is what is running also on the single channel hub on several of our customer product. So I think I reach, because we have limited time, end of my presentation, uh, I don't think we can take question here. It's better if you go and see the demo I was talking about. So thank you for your attention.